So we had the opportunity to watch some Mexicans uh, repair a thatched roof. And what you're seeing here is uh, two laborers uh, tying thatches uh, to a structure. You can see the cross members. And so basically what they do is they have somebody down below that uh, tie on the thatches and they pull them up on the rope to the rooftop and then they tie them down. And now he just grabs the stock, flattens it. So this confused me when I first saw this. I was wondering why were they running a bunch of tin along the roof. You can't see it, but there are some steel bars that are uh, screwed or nailed to the cross members that are going up and down. And they fold this in half. What I find out later is actually it's an eaves trough to divert any water coming along there to the front of this. And the reason why is because this building is right next, very close to the next door neighbor. And if they didn't do this, all the water would go into the neighbor's house. So this is something that they had to do. So at this point, they've gone up halfway up the roof and you'll notice the guy on the right is working on a peak and what he's done is he's laid down one layer of thatches and what's going to happen next is once those thatches are done, he's going to put some rebar to hold it in place and then plastic over top and put a second layer of thatch so that it does not leak and you do not see the plastic. Oh, and like anywhere, any job site, looks like he gets a text in the middle of working, stops and um, checks his text. And now we see the worker on the left, he's actually hammering the thatches that are right up against the edge of the frame. Uh, looks like he's nailing them so that they stay put. You'll also notice that this guy's bare foot, uh, probably to give him better traction uh, while he's climbed halfway up this thatched roof. And now it looks like they're just uh, trimming the excess, almost like getting a haircut. off the edge. Right. On the trimming. Very cool. This guy's using the caulking gun just to 
Make sure that there's no leaks on the tin where the screws go through the tin to hold it in place. Just looking for loose ones, I guess. All the workers are gone. Was it?